and peace. May we all be blessed with good health, long life, prosperity, wisdom, and peace. A warm welcome to all the participants on the daily group meditation in English. Every day, all you know that at 6.25, we do the Kaya Kalpa Indian Standard Time. 6.30, we have a meditation followed by physical exercise. But we all look forward to the Sunday, a special day where we have a special guest coming and giving a discourse on one of some of those topics. Today, it is uh, Shrikant Sushadji. He's from Edison, New Jersey, USA. In fact, he's an all-rounder. He's a cricketer, he's a management expert. He's been doing a lot of social service. And recently he got an award also for him and the mayor. He was very, very happy that he could do a sky yoga program for the Janji public there. So we look forward to Sri Kansi Shadri. And today he will be addressing us on social responsibility. Prior right to that, I would like to thank Surendra Ji for the wonderful meditation and being the master of the first place for him. Once again, welcome you all. And handing over the mic to Sri Kansi Shadri. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity and Varga uh, Valabhadana to everyone. Thank you so much for being here uh, to hear my speech. Uh, shall I share my screen, Aya? Is that okay? Yes, sure, Aya. Please go ahead. I'm trying to share. Yes. Okay, everyone. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Today, I'm going to talk about the topic social responsibility. So, what is our social responsibility as a practitioner as well as as a human? So, what kind of social responsibility we should take and what is correct and what is wrong. Yeah, it's everyone might have known about it. I'm just going to rephrase some of the things. So we all take a oath to spend some time for the community welfare activities as well as spread the peace and being an ambassador of peace. So my title, social responsibility, think of giving not as a duty, but as a privilege. So we should not think it is a duty. It is our privilege to service for the community. So we should take that opportunity and go ahead and do more service. So how we evolved, we all know we developed from the animal. When the population increases, human beings started to move into different places. We all know we came from Africa. We all, that's what the, the science says. And when the population increases, we all started to move around to different parts of the places and with the different groups. From that time, we are living in segregated groups in different locations with different notions and beliefs and different persist having emerged due to the necessities. Everyone has a different necessities, different notion belief. So we have to follow that and we separated, segregated ourselves. And we came to different parts of the world and we are living here. This kind of reconstruction is essential because that time we cannot live it in one place. So uh, the globe was changing everything. So we have to relocate and based on the uh, nature, like weather, we have to change ourselves. Uh, we have to come up with our own culture, our own 
uh, belief, everything was a uh, different because we have to do that on that time uh, because of the new area we moved into as a group. So it's nothing wrong. This is a, a this is a human evolution, right? We all came. So what happened because of that? Due to the segregation, the various religion and caste were formed. So because of the segregation, we started uh, coming up with various religion and caste. And some of the greedy leaders who wants to rule us. So they brought up more division among us. Okay, this is the caste, upper caste. This is a lower caste. This is a, a forward, backward, whatever it is. And the religion also, they started bringing up the religion, saying that this is the God, this is my God. Uh, this is the God who's going to help us. So everyone started playing around the belief of the people. The few greedy leaders, actually, they tried their, uh, put their effort and they were successful because we all started segregating ourselves, differentiating among ourselves, and we started living in a different segregated world. Now, within the group also, we have so much of segregation. We have a uh, with caste, religious caste, and other, and uh, poor, uh, rich, everything. People started to believe false propaganda and developed elusive thoughts and ego because of this. See, it's it's a, it's what the uh, uh, greedy people do. So they want everyone to believe them. So they started spreading out uh, all kind of false propaganda. It's Maya. So it's uh, just covered our eyes. So we started living in the world of Maya. So we started believing everything, whatever we see, whether it is correct or wrong, we don't think. We started believing them. We started following whatever the route they are showing. So few leaders, who uh, is a greedy to have power made us to go through this whole Maya. And as a result, we developed six bad temperaments such as greed, anger, miserliness, immoral sexual passion, vanity, and vengeance. So we developed within ourselves the bad temperaments as well. So this is a, our human evolution. So now think about it, was his life. So it is a state of existence and experience between life and death. It is a state of existence and experience. So life is not just uh, living and going, right? It is an experience. You are born, you are living here, you are experiencing and then you are going to death. Between that time, whatever you are experiencing, that's what we are calling it as a life. So during your existence in the universe, you can create a positive or negative impact on the society by the way you lead your life. We can be a good person or bad person. So we, whatever we do, whatever we do, it impacts the society. It impacts the universe. Even a bad thought, impacts the universe. So good thought, it also hits. Yeah, if a war happens, so we are all blessing. Why we are blessing? Because our good thoughts will reach the universe and reach that leader to change his mind. So this is a connected world. So we should understand we all are connected. We are all interlinked. So anything you do, anything you think, anything you, you act, it's going to affect everyone at some point of time. Don't think it is only going to be affecting me. It is only going to affect, uh, are only going to help me. No, it is as we all are equal. So we are all together. So everyone is interconnected. We are all going to be impacted due to that. Hence, life is not living somehow, subsequently passing away. So we should change our mentality. Oh, life is like, I have to live. I born, I live, and I go. No, that's not the way we should be. Because life is something great. We we got a we got a gift. 
to realize the truth, to attain the realization. So we have to develop ourselves. We cannot live somehow like an animal and go. That's then there is no difference between us and an animal. So we should think about it. What is the life? Why are we here? What our thoughts or our action is impacting the society? If we think about it, we can lead a better life. In nature, all living species other than mankind live peacefully. So animals doesn't worry about next time food or anything. So whenever it needs food, it goes for hunting or it goes and searches for the food it eats and it goes happily, live happily. It doesn't bother about saving it for tomorrow or somebody else is coming and eating my, uh, my share. It doesn't even bother about it. As long as it's, uh, it's uh, satisfied with the food, it goes, it lives, it reproduces, it lives its life. So that's not the human. We have to think about it. So that's why the mankind cannot be peaceful. Only mankind has developed bad temperaments which lead to suffering because we are in the Maya world. We started thinking about uh, all kinds of bad temperaments. We started uh, uh, because of uh, uh, the bad temperaments, we are going through the, we are losing our peacefulness. We are inviting the troubles. So this is something we should be uh, realizing, thinking what mankind is doing comparing to the animals. If we like an ordinary creature and die, it cannot constitute human life. It is like living in darkness. Yeah, mankind cannot be like an animal. So we, we, have a, uh, we have an extra mind, right? If a mind has a, uh, several stages, sensation, need, zeal, effort, result, uh, enjoyment, these are all uh, experience. These are all same for all creatures. So any creatures in this uh, globe has to go through this. Like they have this uh, uh, summon enjoyment together. But human is uh, different. He has a capacity to research, realization, and conclusion. So that's what uh, makes a man different from the animal. So human has to think about it. So he cannot live a life like an ordinary creature. Okay, I came, I live, and I'm going to die. That's not the way it is. It is like a living in a darkness. You are not looking at it. Since human life is a life towards enlightenment, man cannot live in whatever way he wishes. He must use the intellectual capacity to live an ethical life. So he must use the intellectual capacity that is research, realization, and conclusion. He must use that. He must use and uh, choose the correct way of living. Whether you want to go and uh, do a proper living uh, or you want to get into the trouble. So re realize, research it, realize it, and conclude what is the best uh, way of living. So this is something man is different from uh, any other creature. So we have to think about it. We have to lead a life accordingly. Vedatri Magrishi called this as doctrine of human life. So what is the function of human life? Human life functions by the fusion of self, society, and nature. So we are the combination of self, society, and nature. So human cannot sustain himself. It needs society and it needs uh, he, he, he or he needs the nature. So as a human, the duty towards family and self is important. We cannot detach from our duty. So definitely, first of all, we should take care of ourselves. Yeah, that Nobody can object, nobody can say no. That is the primary goal, our primary responsibility for any human because we are having this body 
as a rental to live this life. It's a vehicle. We are sailing through this vehicle, this life. So we need to take care of our vehicle. We cannot uh, damage our vehicle, then vehicle cannot move. Then life is uh, shut down with the mysteries. So we have to take care of our vehicle, which is our body and our life energy, body, mind, all those things are part of ourselves. So we have to take care of ourselves first. Even if we are going, uh, if we would have traveled in the flight, uh, they would have, they will explain in the initially, like uh, in case of emergency, how do you wear the oxygen mask? So initially they'll say, you first wear your mask, then you help others. So this is what the prime uh, thing, right? Unless until you can survey in this world, you can live a healthy life in this world, you cannot help others. So you will be a burden to others. So it is not, uh, uh, do not no need to feel shame or no need to think that I am a selfish because initially we have to take care of ourselves. We have to love ourselves. So unless we love ourselves, or we take care of ourselves, we, can, we cannot take care of anybody else. And family. Family is the one we share. Whatever it is, our sorrows, our happiness, any of our experience or any of the mental things, we share with the family first. So we trust them. We, we had a fight with them. We go along with them. We enjoy with them. So any, any of our... Uh, psychological uh, things we have to share with our family only. We cannot share with any third person, but we have to go with the family. So family is important. So we can take care of family. There's nothing wrong in that. It is our duty because we, we are dependent. We are dependent with family first. So we have to take care of ourselves. We have to take care of family. And that is our first and primary goal. There should be a balance between duties towards your family as well as the society, but there has to be a balance. So here, what uh, here is what we are losing our uh, balance. So most of us uh, do that uh, selfish, selfish, like uh, taking care of ourselves and our family. But when it comes to the society, we started thinking, okay, society, somebody else will take care. So I am, I am not the one to take care. Why should I take care? Say, for example, you are walking like uh, uh, there is some uh, uh, trash or something left over uh, in front of your house. So you don't go and take that in the, from the road and put it in the dustbin. Rather, you will say, okay, so let somebody come. Uh, there are people who is working on this. Let them come and clean it. We'll sit to them. Or we will call somebody else, so oh, why don't you clean this? So there is a water coming in. We don't go and see like what we can do to uh, save the others also. We'll see, okay, when the water is not coming to my home, I'm okay. If it's going to the neighbor's home, that's fine. He will take care. So that kind of mentality is what makes us to go bad. And it is not good. Even, even I can say in the USA, like, uh, we got uh, permission to celebrate uh, Diwali like a couple of years back. So they, they allow us to uh, burst crackers. So there is a ground next to our uh, community. So we go there and we burst the crackers. So first year we all enjoyed. And then the next day there was a hell lot of trash and the ground cannot be used. So. Finally, we have to uh, ask someone to clean it and uh, it become a, a news to the community, right? So they are not taking care of that uh, uh, ground and they are not doing anything. They are just uh, spoiling the ground. The last year also, same thing happened. Last year, we all went to whoever, uh, we all like informed the, everyone, like, please clean it as you burst a cracker so that we don't leave the trashes. But still what? Next day we saw that it's completely trashed. And this time city has noticed and started uh, uh, calling us and uh, saying that we, your community is uh, causing this problem. So I, I requested people like, come, let's clean. But 
nobody came. So I started, okay, I'm going there. If anybody wants to volunteer, volunteer with me. I'm going to clean. So when I went there, there were five people came out to clean. So they started cleaning first day. And second day, we, we couldn't finish it off 100% because it was too, too much. The next day also we started. We, and we got like 15, 20 guys joined hands with us. So that's what it happens. So everyone waits. Who will tie the bell to the cat? Who will start? Who will initiate this responsibility? Who will, who will start doing that so that we can follow and do? So let's be a starter. Let's, be a, let's not shy out. Let's go. Like a, nothing wrong. Even if we fail, if somebody doesn't like, as long as you are not hurting anyone, it's good. You try it out, whatever you can. It may work out. It may not work out. Don't expect any outcome of it. So it is because if I keep the ground clean, the next year, next day, our kids can play there safely. And uh, uh, our environment will be much safer. And next year also, like we will get permission to bust the crackers. So there is a selfishness, uh, what I was doing. But again, we have to do it. Like this is how it is like, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to do I. I have to call someone to the clean it and I, I'm putting pressure on the government to clean. Yeah, next time government will come up with uh, some orders where we cannot celebrate, you, you will get stuck with that. So life has to give away, right? We have to give back to the society in some way so that we all balance together. So that's where the duty is. We have to think it is a duty to share between family and society. So one, not only family, we have to keep a society in our mind because we are all independent on self, society, and nature. So interdependent, we all are interdependent. So we cannot live without society or nature. So any positive or negative contribution will impact on all. So everyone will get impacted, any positive or negative contribution. Principles of self-discipline in Veda 3. So what Veda 3 is trying to uh, teach to make our self-discipline. Self Simplified exercise to care of physical body. So we all knew, we are all practitioners. So we do the simple exercise every day. So take care of our physical body. Kaya Kalpa Yoga, we all know that's for life energy, anti-aging. We all take care every, every day we do it. Meditation to keep mind healthy and show the path for self-realization. There are various meditations we follow, which reduces our mind wavelength and keep us healthy. And we are also, uh, it is also showing the path for the self-realization. Introspection to realize oneself and lead a virtuous life. So introspection, that's where like we introspect ourselves and try to understand what we are, what we do, what is our mistakes, what kind of uh, issues we are creating. So everything, we introspect ourselves, we introspect our anger, we introspect our worry. So we have a, a very good program we had been given. Uh, it's a gift for us. We introspect to lead a better life. Family harmony, there is a family harmony, how to uh, be uh, together, living together. So we all know about it. We, we learn about that family harmony. So we follow that. Revealing the secret of nature to realize and to help develop love and compassion within us. This is a Brahmanyanam, the secret of nature we get to know and which helps us to develop love and compassion within us. So without First, we love, uh, we love ourselves and we realize ourselves. We cannot start love and we cannot do the service to others. So we should understand. So we, once we understand the truth, what is the truth of nature, then definitely we will start love and compassion with ourselves as well as with others. So this is a great program provided by uh, Magarishi for all our welfare. So we should all follow this and go through many times uh, whenever we get time and 
get help from this. So now we come to the social responsibility. It is our duty to give back to the society in need. Yeah, no one can uh, say no to this because we have to give back. So we are getting it from social, uh, society and nature for every day, whatever we need, even the basic clothing, we need someone to wave the cloth. So uh, food, someone has to produce it. So we are depending on society and society is depending on nature, nature, without nature uh, uh, providing all the resources, we won't get anything to live. So it is our duty to give back to the society and remember our worth to volunteer a few hours in a month as ambassador of peace. We all took the oath to have a few hours in a month as ambassador. So we should remember that and make sure at least two hours in a month spend it for our peace. So that we should all take a, a thing like many of the programs uh, even in USA, unfortunately we couldn't uh, go aggressively because the lack of masters availability. Even though there are so many masters, not everyone is coming forward. Like we have to encourage, we have to tell everyone, we have to say ourselves, at least I will go and give two of us by taking classes, by talking to the people, whatever it is, do at least a couple of hours in a month. Everyone spends that couple of hours, we can see the change. Follow twofold moral principle. In my lifetime, I will not harm to the mind or the body of myself or others in the present or in the future. I'll try to help whoever it needs. So this is a twofold moral principle, always keeping ourselves. Treat everyone equally. Develop the mindset to see that gold and copper are the same. See, treat everyone equally. That is very important. Don't think, uh, oh, I am the superior guy and I cannot do this task. No, nothing like that. We all are equal. We should realize our origin. We all are from the same origin. So we knew where we came from. So we know the secret of nature. So we should have the love and compassion with everyone and everything. So that's why like, we have to develop the mindset to so see the gold and copper as same because gold or copper came from the same source. If you realize, so the value what we are giving is due to the Maya. So that when we realize, if it's a realized soul, it doesn't care whether it's a gold or copper. It's the same to us. So that kind of mentality we should bring, but it's not easy, in, but we should try. We should try to realize, we should develop ourselves. We should realize all our origin are same, that is divine, static state of universe, our Brahman. So we came from Brahman. <coughs> we, are, we are divine. So we should realize that. What is our origin? So we should realize and we should think the other person or other uh, 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 objects is also the divine. Divine has given the responsibility to every animated and non-animated beings. More responsibility for human. Our body, life energy and mind are the properties of society, says Vedatri Magrishi. See that he has very clearly defined what it is. Divan has given responsibility to everyone. So everyone has their responsibility. We should take care of it. It is our duty. It is our privilege. We have to do that. And we, as a human, we have more responsibility for this uh, society, for this uh, uh, nature. We have to take care of it. Our body, life energy, minds are the properties of society. Say, it is not ours. It is a property of society. We are all linked together. That's why in the beginning itself, I said, whatever act we do, it's impact everyone at some point of time. So don't think it is only me. I'm thinking, I'm doing. So it is going to impact everyone. It is our duty to involve in any community welfare activities without any expectation. So we should not expect anything in return for any community welfare activities. 
yeah if any anybody wants anything just go volunteer yourself and see to that after complete uh, completing the time you feel so much uh, happy that you cannot buy even if you are spending thousands of dollars so you cannot get the same satisfaction when you do the community welfare activities so start involving yourself don't be shy out everyone has something to give to our outside so everyone has some little things we can do so do not hesitate just break that nutshell come out of it then we can be a, a very responsible person money is not the only commodity that is fun to give we can give time we can give our expertise we can give our love or simply give a smile so don't think only money is the only commodity is uh, what we can do for the welfare of society if i give a, a charity i'm done i'm doing a great job no that's not the only thing we can give some time yeah you can spend like uh, one or two hours uh, in a month you keep it for the community welfare activities go around and help each other this way people will come to know who are you what are you what is uh, uh, uh ambition what are you trying to do so then they will understand what is the how do you do and they will try to understand our programs and even we all will grow together so not only your community your community will come to know about our programs and everything will get everything will grow with each other we can give our expertise everyone is expert in something you you could be expert in uh uh, some small, small stuff, right? Uh, I'm, I'm good at uh, organizing the stuff. Yeah, I'm not a good speaker, but I can organize the stuff. Go and do that. You don't have to be a speaker to be the, uh, uh, to be in that. Or I am not a good, uh, uh, I cannot uh, do a lot of uh, physical work. That's fine. Do some uh, mental work or do some accounts uh, checking or some something what you can do what you can give it to the community to that even the small step will make a big difference we can give if not just go and simply give our love or simply give us mind go and talk to them go and talk to each other there are lonely people out there so community so take the community as our own family start treating community as our own family and at least give a smile to each other it doesn't cost anything. So everyone, the point is none of us can run, ever run out of something worthwhile to give. We all have so much to give, but we think I don't have anything or I don't have any special thing that I cannot give. Just go and do whatever you can. Even if you plant a tree, that itself is a social service. Make sure the tree is coming up. So do something, take an oath, go and do something to the society that makes a big difference see dana and dharma sound similar but when we understand in depth giving out with expectation is dana see dana is nothing you are expecting something back whereas dharma you don't expect anything so dana in the sense even though it is good but you are expecting something you are uh, uh, getting your karma added, whereas in dharma, you are not. So you don't, you forget about it and you do and you move on. So be a dharma. So do the service, don't expect anything. Either it helps you, either it doesn't help you, do not expect anything because nature knows what to give, when to give, how to give. So divine and nature will take care and you will be assured by them. So you will get whatever you should be getting at the point of time. So don't think, whatever you are getting, think that, okay, this is what uh, Divine thinks, I will be good with this. So that's why it is offering this. So accept it and go on. Do not uh, expect anything in return from anyone. Let's take the responsibility to spread the peace among the community which helps to fulfill the objective of bringing world peace through the individual peace. So let us all take that responsibility to spread the peace. So when we start moving around, talking to the people, talking to your community, 
when you start uh, uh, putting your effort and working towards uh, uh, some welfare, people will notice, people will come and talk to you, people will try to understand what is that. So we can explain our uh, programs for bringing up individual peace, how the world peace we are going planning to achieve through individual peace. And it can only happen if we are peaceful and we take care of our community and community is peaceful. Without community P is in peaceful, we cannot be in peace. So if I say, okay, there is a wall only in Russia, I am not affected directly, so I can be peace here. No, the war in Russia is inflating me. So I'm also getting affected indirectly. So this is what it happened. So we have to bring the peace everywhere. So start from yourself, your family, and try to go around your community and spread the peace and spread the uh, uh, service oriented thing. Start you be the one who changes the, change the things. You be the one who tie the belt to the cat. So don't wait, someone will initiate it then I can go and uh, take it. Let's be the one, uh, be an ambassador of the peace and spread the peace throughout this world. Thank you so much for offering me.